Hello again. Now that we have the scene set up, we're going to go over how the camera works. The camera will allow us to set up different scenes in our world and view them from different perspectives. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is save our current camera position. To do this, we're going to use a dummy camera. Dummy cameras are sort of like camera tripods. You put several tripods or dummies in your world, and then you can move the camera to the different tripods for different views. This way, if we move the camera all around and switch scenes or get lost and have a bad angle, we can always move back to our saved location. So to add in a tripod or dummy camera, we're going to click Add Objects in the bottom right of the viewer. Now over on the right, under the positional buttons, we can click More Controls. More buttons will appear, and while it will seem like nothing should, will happen when you click on it, you should only click Drop Dummy at Camera once. Now look over to the left at your object tree. You'll see a new folder called Dummy Objects. To make things a bit more clear, we'll rename this. Right click on the folder, select Rename, and then rename it Camera Views. We encourage you to not use spaces. Press Enter. Click on the plus sign next to this, and you'll see the camera that you just dropped. Dummy. Whenever you make a new dummy camera, which you should do whenever you start a new world, you should rename the dummy so that you can remember its location, because oftentimes you'll have more than one, like you would have more than one tripod. Right click on this one, select Rename, and rename it Start View. Press Enter. Note that when you click on the name of an object in the object tree, the name gets highlighted and you'll see a bounding box in yellow. This is a 3D rectangular box that surrounds the objects so that you can see where the object fits into the 3D space. Anyway, now that we have our camera position saved, we can use those arrows at the bottom of the viewer to move the camera. The first set moves the camera up and down and left and right. The second set moves the camera forwards and backwards and pans it or turns it to the left and right. Sometimes these colored boxes will appear in the space, and those are just showing you where the dummy camera is. It's just a feature that Alice uses to help you. If you click on play, those colors go away, so you don't have to worry about them getting in the way. Anyway, the last set of arrows turns the camera forward and backward, or up and down. You can play with these buttons for a little while. As you hold down a button, dragging your mouse further away will move the camera a little bit faster, and dragging it in different directions will have the camera quickly change direction. When you're finished playing, we'll have to move the camera back to its original position. Right click on camera in the object tree. In the menu that comes up, choose methods, which will give you a list of things the camera can do. Now scroll down to Camera Set Point of View to, then look under your Camera Views, and choose Start View. This is how we'll move the camera back to different locations. Just remember, you can right click on Camera, go to its Methods, then go to Set Point of View to, and then the view that you want. Now we'll set up a second scene. Pan the camera to the left by clicking on the left arrow of the second group. Hold this until the island is just out of view. Now drop another dummy camera. Remember, if these controls aren't showing on the right, just click More Controls, then click Drop Dummy at Camera. Rename this one in your object tree by right-clicking on it, clicking Rename, and labeling it Shark View. Shark in all caps. Well, now that we've added this camera, we should add that shark. We'll navigate to the Ocean Gallery down where the objects are listed. Click on Local Gallery in between Home and Vehicles, then scroll over to where it says Ocean. There will be a picture of two fish, a couple shells, and seaweed. 
and now scroll over to Sharp. Click and drag it into your world. Use the positional buttons to turn it towards your island using the third positional button and use the up and down positional button, the second one, to lower it into the water a little bit. Finally, move the camera back to the starting position. Do you remember how? Right click on camera, go to methods, set point of view to, and then choose your start view under camera views. That's all for this video. In the next video, we'll start to program our world to do things. For now, just click Done in the lower right, and then go to File and Save World.